Hey Roswell, Matt Miller here. Um, I'm standing on stage today, no one's in the audience. Um, but one of the things I don't get to say often enough is just how grateful I am to be a part of this community, uh, to be able to pastor and shepherd and, and lead amongst a team of, of folks that are on mission, trying to move forward into what God has called us into. And uh, just how grateful I am for so many of you who, who come shoulder to shoulder and lock arms and make it possible week in and week out in your community context, in your homes, um, in your equipping uh, venues, in the ways in which you're trying to live your lives more alive to Christ and just getting to be a part of that, getting to, to shepherd that, getting to uh, to see it unfold, to hear the stories of transformation is a real gift. And some of the reality of how that takes place is through through the generosity of so many of y'all. And so one of the things I wanted to do is just give you uh, just a, a brief update on where we are financially. First, I want to just say what we've done is we've actually placed the all the data, all the information, if you will, uh, on our app. So you can go under the More tab under the Ruddle Community Church app, and you're able to find out and see there just kind of a full, a full printout of all the numbers and all the data, and I'm not going to give you all those numbers. Um, but I wanted to celebrate a couple things. Uh, one is, uh, you'll see on there that uh, this past year, as we look back on this past year, that we were able to um, spend about $64,000 less than uh, we brought in from your generosity and the giving that God made possible through uh, through so many of you, which is pretty amazing. Uh, have a surplus at the end of a pretty insane year of COVID is an amazing thing. And, uh, and so as we look at this coming in this new year, what we've done is we've looked at the budget. Obviously, we've got uh, several things that are kind of picking back up, if you will, as we step into kind of a ref uh, kind of replenishment, a renewal, uh, new context of equipping and groups. And uh, we're genuinely excited about what God has for this coming year. And so what you'll see is we have the kind of the current budget picture and what that looks like, as well as an allocation uh, based on the variety of different areas from, from personnel, which of course is the largest uh, element of our budget, to facilities, and then all the ministry context uh, and some admin, and of course, uh, the missionaries that we support. So you get a chance to to kind of take, a, take a, at least a gander at what that looks like. I hope you know that one of our commitments, and hope you can see that year over year, is uh, as we as we work really, really hard to, to steward every single dollar that comes through um, through this church, and, and not only in what we give, as well as how we steward it within the context of our ministries, uh, but is to see God's movement, God's work move forward uh, effectively. And uh, so anyway, we're genuinely excited about this coming year. Obviously, a couple weeks ago, we talked vision-wise about where we're focusing, how we're going to try to become the kind of people who who live out their calling in community. And that's the kind of thing we're going to be pressing into throughout this year with a degree of intentionality, a couple different ways. We're going to kind of skin that cat, if you will. Um, but, but trying to become and see God help us to become uh, the kind of people who, who know who they are and who know how they're working and moving into the world. Um, so that's, that's going to be a lot of our emphasis this year. We're going to hit on other things as well. And we recognize, listen, some, some folks are still in a place where uncertainty around COVID, et cetera. Just, we're just wanting to say, like, we're grateful to be a part of a community of people who want to know and love God more. And, uh, and, and so as, as we move forward, as we lean in, uh, I just want to say that some of the ways in which this uh, ministry, some of the way this church actually exists is because of your faithfulness and your generosity. And uh, I just want to say thank you uh, on behalf of the elders, on behalf of the staff team, on behalf of all those that lead here. Um, you know who you are. Thank you for the ways in which you give sacrificially of your time and energy and particularly of your resources. Uh, we are not able to exist and not able to, to see the kind of life change that happens in people's lives without you. So, so thank you for being a part of that. It is a privilege, a genuine privilege to be a part of, of this church community. So um, we look forward to being able to be together more consistently on Sundays. We've got things like a night of worship coming up in October. Uh, we're going to be obviously uh, kicking off while you're on the app looking at this uh, financial update. If you want to sign up for the, uh, the uh, unique primer that's on there that's starting in a couple weeks, we'd love for you to be a part of those things. Uh, but just know that uh, deeply grateful, genuinely grateful to be a part of this community. As always, if you have questions, uh, want to talk a little bit more about budget elements, we're more than glad to do that. You can reach out to any of us on the Elder Board at elders at roswellchurch.org. So you are loved. Look forward to seeing you this coming Sunday, and we trust you have a really great weekend.